we are checking out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Now, this just came out um, a day ago, and I've been playing it for hours, okay? I've been playing it for hours, and it's been pretty fun. That being said, I'm sure there's a ton of balancing issues that people are already talking about, but um, even so, I do think there is, uh, and there's lots of potential. I think that uh, with uh, regular updates, it could have a decent uh, lifespan. Uh, we'll see though, you know, this might just be a, uh, might just be a flavor of the month thing. Let me just go through what features there are. You have a very nice set of options here. Toggle with different volumes and stuff. A key difference between this and DVD is that you can talk to your teammates in game with a microphone. Both sides can do this, so uh, voice communication is actually encouraged. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's that's a good thing because people would be communicating either way. There's also text chat as well, so if you don't have a mic, you can type, but people will probably appreciate voice chat more. Better call outs that way. Video options, you know, your standard stuff. Also, something that this has that uh, DVD doesn't have is a uh, brightness. You can change how, how bright things are, which is very nice. So there is a, a V-Sync, but frame rate cap, I don't I don't see it. Uh, you also have input um, input options. I don't think you can change any of these. Like when I click on them, nothing happens. So you do have a couple different presets you can toggle between, but you cannot actually configure the keys themselves. So that kind of sucks, but I did find the keys that were assigned by default to be, they made sense, okay? It made sense. And then we have um, just game stuff. You can anonymize yourself, which is very nice. You can uh, show subtitles, um, HUD visibility, vibration, crossplay. I think for what it is right now, just, just launching like yesterday, there's quite a few options for, for settings you can toggle here, so that's nice. You can also play with friends. You see party options here you can create or join. This game is a three versus four asymmetrical. There are three killers and four survivors. As a killer, you're going to have teammates, which is a pretty cool thing because, you know, most of the time it's like one versus four, but it's a little different now. Then we have tutorials here. They actually do a, a decent job of kind of explaining the basics of you know how to play certain characters and what the game's about. So the tutorials did help me a decent bit when I just started playing. So they are worth a watch. And you also have a progression system. You can keep track of the various levels of your characters, your stats. DBD doesn't really have stats unless you go to an unofficial website. And you also have some unlockables as well. It's pretty neat. It also has perks. I do like the fact that there are perks and different characters, and each character has their own special ability as well. They're not just skins, like survivor skins, like in DVD. Each one has an ability that you might want to pick over the other one. So, for example, Connie here, she is a lockpick expert. She can pick locks very quickly. This guy, I, I kind of imagine him being like David from DVD. He can sort of dead hard into the killer and stun them. Anna, she can... It's like damage reduction, basically. She has a damage reduction ability. Sonny, he has the ability to tune into sounds that either his team or the killer makes and detect them. Julie, she is like the Meg. She can run really fast, so that's her thing. And then the killer's down here. Of course, you have Leatherface. He's the most deadly with the chainsaw. He does the most damage. We have Cook here. He can listen in and he can pinpoint survivor locations if they're making too much noise. So he's very good at feeding information to his team. And then you have Hitchhiker here. He is like the trapper. He can set traps. Unlike DBD, where you can disarm traps just by sticking your hand in it, you have to find a specific tool on the map to disable his traps. We have Johnny here. He is like a tracker. He can follow footprints and track down survivors and he's pretty strong he's like the second strongest in terms of like damage per hit he's probably like the second strongest uh well actually i guess cook is but 
Johnny is definitely more deadly just because uh, he's faster. Sissy, she can blow a poison cloud to deny areas to survivors, uh, which is pretty useful for keeping them out of uh, certain places you want to guard. Okay, so you have the, the individual characters, right? But you also have perks as well. You have different perks you can equip and you can unlock them. You also have a, a skill tree here. This lets you pick whatever perks you want. You go down the skill tree, you can respec anytime you want. So you're not locked into it. So it's, it's pretty cool. You can experiment with different builds and, and perks and stuff. So. so I guess we'll just start with a game is killer and then I'll try survivor. So the way it's going to work, the survivors get like 20 to 30 seconds at the start. It's like a head start. And the killer side will have to watch a cinematic. You'll see it right now. Yes, you can choose killer or survivor. You choose it before the, the game starts, yes. Okay, and that guy is Grandpa. He basically pings the entire map for survivors every, I don't know, how many seconds? Like every 60 seconds or something. And if they are moving, you will see their auras. If they are not moving, you will not see them. All right, so right now, uh, my killer is sort of like the guy who tries to secure the area. I have, like, my power is like padlocks. I can put locks on doors that are really hard to open. So I tend to put the padlocks on areas that are difficult, or sorry, that are important, such as like the main way to get to one of the exits. You can also close these crawl spaces. So survivors cannot use them during chases, which is very useful. And at the beginning, um, all the survivors are in the basement. And they cannot... Uh, no other killers can enter the basement until Grandpa wakes up. Which he already has. So, also, as a killer, you do want to collect blood. And what you want to do is you feed the blood to Grandpa, and then he levels up, which lets him detect survivors more frequently for you. So I am going to feed him right now. That's it. Tastes good, don't it? Num 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 num. Okay. As you can see, every time you you feed him 100 blood you will level him up. Hey, I'm a friend, dude. Don't saw me. Now we're we're chasing this girl. Got to find her. And I can use my ability here to pinpoint survivors. The oh, I think there's one over here, over here. A bit more. Oh. If they stop moving then my my radar stops working. But I know he's over here. Yep, there she is. See, that's a that's a small space. I can't get through that. All right, I just have to go around. There she is. Ah, I gotta get her. Dang it! See, no, I can I can literally do nothing because I can't I can't go through that uh, that crack. So I would need the help of another killer to catch her. Yes, that is an infinite. That is 100% an infinite. This is why you have multiple killers in the game. You need more than one killer to help you. Go get her. You ain't getting out of here. <laughs> oh man, okay, she went through that. And I also have an ability that highlights them for my whole team. 
if I hit them. It's very useful. And she's dead. Kaboosh. So yeah, as you can see, the survivors really aren't that hard to kill. But um, they can be very sneaky. It can be very difficult to find them if they play right. Yeah. So I don't even know if these survivors are still in the basement. Because I don't see, uh, I don't hear anything. So they might be upstairs by now. I might have to go up. Where is the, uh, oh, it's here. Yeah, this, this gate's open, so I'm guessing they are upstairs now. So yes, my killer is not the strongest, which is why I have this ability that tags uh, survivors and reveals them. So my more deadly allies can catch them. Okay, that's just the, the generator, so I don't really care about that. Wait, what about this? Who's this? Aha! Oh, he's on her trail! Oh, she's though dead. Bye bye <laughs> Oh, this one's grizzly. Yep. Nasty. Yes, he, yeah, he definitely uh, stole that kill. <laughs> Let's go feed Grandpa. Here you go, Grandpa. Here you go. So the way to get blood is you can either kill people to get blood, uh, injure them, or you can collect blood from buckets. Oh man, somebody escaped. We have to find the last guy. I don't know how he escaped, which exit he went to. Let's see, is it here? No, that that that's, uh, that gate is locked. Like you can tell if the survivor's been there if the gate is uh, open. But if it's locked, they probably haven't been there. Check over here. Nope, that's locked. You're not always going to be in chases or know where everybody is. There's a lot of hide and seek. It's a lot of stealth. So, a lot of it is just finding your prey. Oh. Well, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Okay. You gotta go around. It's a long way around, too. There are a few killers who can squeeze through those cracks, but I am not one of them. There you go. I revealed her. There is also a stamina system in this game. If you run out of stamina, you do get stunned for a little bit. Oh, she's so dead. She's so dead, guys. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Hey, hey, go on that side, dude. Okay. Yeah, she's done. It's over. That's that's the teamwork you need in this game. Yep. We did it. I think only one escapes, which is pretty cool. And at the end, he does the chainsaw dance, because that's what he does in the first movie. So it's like a throwback to it. So yeah, that's, that's like the, the game flow for you, at least as a killer. I suppose we'll take a look at it from the survivor side, even though I'm probably going to die. With some people, they do not press ready.
All right, we gotta get out of here. Okay, okay. So the first priority is to find a lockpick so we can escape the um the basement. And I am opening a grate here. This is to help us escape during a chase. And you can either do it really fast or slowly to make less noise. Can I get through here? Oh no, somebody upset that chicken. We gotta find some... Oh jeez, that scared me. Alright, I have to stay still so he doesn't see my aura. Two health bottles, but that's not what I need. All right, let's in this. We're looking for a lockpick. Come on, let's go. What's this? Um, Wait, can I use that? Wait, what do you see, man? What do you see? Yo, Lily, you okay? wait, was I just here? Uh, oh wait, this. Yes, okay, this is useful. Oh, what's this? This is, this is bone scrap. This lets you cut down uh, bone chimes, which will make noise if you run through them. So you can take off the bone chimes, so you won't be uh, be heard. Lockpick. I use this? Um, Anything to numb the pain. Okay, somebody already died. That's okay. not good. They didn't. Yes, I can use that. I don't like the sound of that. No. He might have saw me. It was only for a moment, but... Sounds like he's nearby. I don't like that. There he is. Oh my gosh. It's much too quiet. They can't be far. Oh man. Okay, he opened the door, but he's locking it behind him. Okay, I gotta get this lockpick right now. And my impression of the game? I mean, I think it's fun. Although, you know, I'll probably find problems with it in a week or two. But right now, just experiencing the mechanics and stuff. It's a breath of fresh air. Okay, finally got a lockpick. Let's try and open this door. Okay, there's a mini game to this. Um, here we go. This is going to make a big, loud noise, and they will know I opened the door. So, I may want to hide until they uh, patrol this area and don't find me. Oh man, it's still stand still. Okay. 
Oh, another lockpick. Okay. Okay, somebody escaped the house. That's cool. I might be able to exit the basement soon. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Two lockpicks should be enough. Oh no, I'm the last one alive? It's not what I want. Okay, I can see their auras for like 10 seconds thanks to a perk, but this is not good. Uh-oh. Okay. They're all over. Oh jeez. Oh no no no, I don't want them to see me. That's not good. I keep my eyes peeled. They know where I am. This is not good, guys. I am not happy about this one bit. I don't want to be back down here. I really don't. Oh jeez, and I have to... There is no way out. I have to go this way. Okay. If I open that door, they will know I'm there. Oh no, he spotted me. Ah, uh, help! Yeah, I'm so dead. It's over for me. Yep, it's over. Blet. Now, all that work for nothing. <laughs> He saw that she's teabagging too. <laughs> oh my god. It's so tense, like just trying to escape the basement is it's a pretty big challenge. Uh so yeah, I might I might stream this again later. Maybe if the game sees a sizable update, you know, a new killer survivor, I might come back to this and uh, we'll we'll do more, okay? Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.